the she rules aren't exactly perfect, okay? I am not exactly perfect. So there are rules that I have created in the she rules that I actually aspire to, right? So I use these rules in my own life to try to become better, a better spouse, a better business partner, a better mom, a better leader in my community, a better woman, right? And number 11 is the perfect example of something that I put into the she rules because I'm trying to do better at it, right? I'm trying to, I, I'm aspiring to that. So she rules number 11 is no complaining. Oh my gosh, no complaining. Yes, yes, no complaining. I can tell you that is something very difficult for me, even as sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and sprinkles, even though I don't like sprinkles. Oh, glitter, we'll say glitter. Sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and glitter, as amazing as my life is, I still find times to complain. I still find myself in a negative spiral where I'm talking about things that A, don't matter, and B, that I have no business complaining about. So when it when i decided to make it was one of when i just when i decided to make it one of the rules like we don't cut anything out around here we leave all <laughs> we leave all the blabber in so when i decided to make it rule number 11 one of the she rules it was because i wanted to create some awareness around it so when i find myself complaining it helps me realize okay what like what are we doing so when I find myself complaining, I will ask myself, what do you really have to complain about? Okay, so if we are standing around complaining, bitching, whatever, and we stop and ask ourselves, should we really even be giving this a voice? Do we really even need to be talking about this? Most of the time, the answer is no. It doesn't matter and we don't even need to be talking about it. So as women, we know that we are meant to set the temperature in the room, in the room, right? I'm using the hashtags. The room being our businesses, our families, our homes, our communities. And so I know that if I start complaining to my husband, to my most favorite human on the whole entire planet, I'm bringing his energy down. I know that if I start complaining to my kids, I'm bringing their energy down. And I'm not trying to say, oh, I control people's energy and it's my responsibility. No, not at all. That's not what I'm trying to say. But if you can not bring it down, right? Sometimes you can't always elevate it, but if you can not drag it down, that's still a plus, that's still something good. In my house, I'm the happy one, right? I mean, my kids are happy, my husband's happy, but I'm the I'm the bright side one. I'm the, okay, let's keep this in reality. And I remember years ago, because Silver Fox and I have been together for 19-ish years, something like that. Time flies when you're having a good time. I remember him, so it must've been about 10 years ago or something, I remember him saying to you, look, you're the happy one in this marriage. <laughs> if you're not happy, we will change whatever it is. And it wasn't to do with our marriage. I think it was a career change that I was going through. But also when I find myself complaining, I think to myself, what am I really looking for here? I think unfortunately sometimes when we are complaining or venting, right? That's another that's a, another word that people use to describe it to hide that you're actually complaining when you're venting. I think sometimes what we're really looking for is we want someone to feel sorry for us. Oh, I went through all of this. Oh, my plane was delayed. Oh, force of average is coming at me and I didn't da 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 da. And my car broke down and my computer broke and feel sorry for me. Well, I tell you, the last thing I need, the last thing I want in my life is for people to feel sorry for me. I don't want your sympathy. I don't want to be someone that you feel sorry for. I want to be someone that you look at and you feel empowered by. I want you to look at me and hear what I say and see what I do and be encouraged. So I am constantly reminding myself, my 
family, my marriage, my vibe, my community, there is no time and no place for complaining. So if you ever, 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 ever hear me complaining, here's what you should say to me. And here's what I say to myself. Do you got time for that? Do you got time for that? Is there room for that? No, there's not.